Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean coming to you live from Hempstead, New York and Hofstra University, where that first presidential debate will take place tonight. It is fair to say there is a lot on the line for both candidates tonight. We know that Hillary Clinton won the traditional coin toss. That means she'll get the first question, but both candidates will have an opportunity this evening to display their temperament. Earlier today, I caught up with senior advisors to both of the campaigns to get their thoughts on tonight. Take a listen. We're just doing so great. So it's all about continuing to deliver the message on the economy and on national security. You're going to see the authentic Donald Trump that won more votes in the Republican primary than anybody in the history of the GOP, more than Eisenhower, more than Reagan. You'll see somebody focused on the issues, so you're going to get the full spectrum of Mr. Trump. Tonight is about these candidates showing they have a command of the issues, and they have real plans to move this country forward. In previous debates, he's been rude and insulting to the other participants, but I assume tonight he'll probably come a little more subdued. It seems his advisors have told him that he should try to act more presidential. Now, immediately after the debate coverage, live on Eyewitness News at 11, we're going to have rapid fire response featuring Allison Young, a Republican political analyst and former George W. Bush staffer, and Democrat Jonathan Seidel, a former Philadelphia city controller. So we'll have both of them talking about the issues, talking about what you saw tonight, and breaking it down. That's coming up on Eyewitness News at 11. And in the meantime, also earlier today, I got to talk with CBS News's Bob Schieffer. Mm. You're going to hear from him coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. In the meantime, Yuki, let's send it back to you.